Hey there, Sagittarius, and happy birthday to you. Uh, it's, still, it's still Sagittarius season, ain't it? I believe it is. Wait a minute, y'all. <laughs> I done got caught slipping. My bad, okay? My bad, my bad. I know, I think it's up to, to the 20th something. I know it's usually like that. Sagittarius birthday. My bad. So, yes, yeah, like I say, we got up until the 21st. So, happy birthday to you, Sagittarius. Now, this is another general love reading. This is for the person that is coming towards you for a commitment, okay? Now, it already seemed like there's some stuff going on, but this is what I got for you. You got codependency in the reverse. Stay optimistic about your love life in the reverse. So, <clears throat> codependencies, I feel like somebody had an addiction to you. Or it was a codependent relationship. I feel like somebody here, it's almost like somebody is freeing themselves from this situation here. Or they could be saying you have freed yourself from this situation, that it was a codependent relationship. Now somebody, somebody may have needed someone in this relationship because of finances here. Somebody could have been codependent for financial reasons here, but you got worth waiting for in the upright here. But you also have unrequited love in the reverse. I feel like somebody, the person's coming to you, either you feel this way about them or they feel that way about you. Somebody was codependent on the other for financial reasons here. I feel like somebody was stuck, but it was only because it was a codependency here. I feel like somebody is low-key waiting for you. and This person may even try to reach back out to you. But I feel like it's a one-sided relationship because you got unrequited love in the reverse. I feel like this was a one-sided relationship where somebody was doing more for the other person than the other person was here. And somebody freed themselves here, but the other person still has romantic feelings for the other one here. And the, the person here who may have freed themselves may be looking for new love, okay? But the, but, um, the person here who still has romantic feelings here, uh, they're the ones that's kind of low-key waiting. Now, whether it's you or them, but this is the person or the energy that is coming towards you uh, for some type of relationship. You use a codependent relationship here. It is not a healthy relationship. It seems like it's a kind of toxic situation. Because check it out, your overall energy is the Ten of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Woo, King of Swords. See, I feel like somebody's stalking you. Or somebody's stalking somebody. Page of Swords. Three of Pentacles here. Somebody hasn't healed from a split up, I think. Nine of Wands and the pay, Knight of Cups followed by the Tower card. See, I feel like something done already happened, but somebody ain't letting go. Okay, that's what I feel. See, the Three of Pentacles here could be somebody here that may be trying to... It's almost like if somebody was codependent on money, money issues or money, you know, gifts, three of pentacles here, somebody may have needed you. Somebody may have been dependent on the support here. So it could very well be that this person ain't doing so well without you, but they, but, but, um, they still want to be with you. I feel like this cycle has already been completed here, but somebody is clearly not letting it go. Okay. That's what I see. All right. So you got the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, followed by the Tower, Scorpio, Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Ten of Swords, King of Swords, and the freaking Page of Swords in this thing. The world here is Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus in here, followed by the Knight of Swords. See, I tell you, somebody's still in their feelings here. In the Eight of Swords, somebody is stuck and they can't let go. So that's what I'm getting here. They stuck and they can't let go. See, the star could be an Aquarius if somebody is refusing to... Close out a cycle. I feel like it's already over, but somebody really ain't accepting it, all right? All right, Ten of Swords for the person coming towards Sagittarius for a commitment. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, Ace of Wands, see? Somebody said that they know that it ended bad, but they still want to start over. It could be, a, could be, like, I feel like somebody wants you with this Ace of Wands. It's almost like somebody I already knows, see? Three of Swords, see, like I say, somebody already know that the pain and everything has been, it's almost like somebody been done wrong, but they, they forgiven you now, okay? This person could be going through a spiritual awakening. Somebody may be doing work or somebody wants to work on this situation. Or maybe somebody needs to go through some type of enlightenment, some type of spiritual healing here. Because clearly this relationship is was toxic. The four ones could be some type of spiritual connection, could be a lesson mate energy here. Twin flame lesson made type of stuff here. 
Cause almost like somebody know that it ain't somebody. Somebody's getting hurt out of it, but they're still having a hard time letting it go. Okay. All right. The person coming towards Sagittarius for commitment in this Ten of Swords. What's up with this Ten of Swords? Seven of Cups here. Mm. Somebody could have had other options here. Is what I feel like. It's almost like somebody may have fell in love with a player or somebody like that, and they keep on dogging them, and they they, they leave hurt. And but the end, they, they I feel like somebody will leave after they feelings is hurt, but eventually they make their way back. They keep on coming back, and I feel like it doesn't get any better for them. They just gonna keep on getting dog because I'm I'm hearing dog by by now because somebody could be dealing with a king of swords that ain't no that's that's detached and really don't care. Cause see, this is a, a karma here. This is karma here. Somebody could be stalking somebody that, that don't want them no more, see? And they go to Six of Cups. But the person here who is stalking is the person that's going through it because they're, 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 they're constantly holding on to somebody here who keep on hurting them over and over again. And, and, and it's almost like, you know the saying, um, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. But this is somebody here who done lost it. I feel like I feel like this is somebody that needs to get somewhere here. All right, why is the Page of Swords here for the person coming towards Sagittarius for commitment? Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius here. What's up, this Page of Swords? Page of Swords. What's up with this Page of Swords here? Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, but it looked like it showed up in the reverse here. Somebody's not, somebody's refusing to accept the truth here is what I feel like here. See, because somebody is not balanced because the only thing they focus on is coming back together with either you or you, however, I'm just reading how I figure this is the person coming towards you that wants a commitment here. Now, it could be that you don't want no commitment, but they're, they want the commitment here. And it could also represent that, you want a commitment, but they don't want no commitment. Take it high fist. I'm just telling you the energy that is coming towards you for commitment, whether it's vice versa or reverse the roles. Somebody wants this connection back. Could be a Sagittarius, see? But it's a toxic situation. See, they're going to love us in the reverse. Break up to make up. But I feel like somebody's going to be met with some resistance now or somebody does not back down and go away. It's almost like somebody just don't won't go away. It don't matter how they get treated. See, because somebody is emotionally damaged. See, Queen of Cups in the reverse. Somebody, somebody is really in their shadow work. Over, uh, uh, somebody's really in their dark side uh, because of their emotions. Somebody. That's why I got the balance card there. Somebody is totally imbalanced because they have been broken and they need to let go of something. But it's almost like once again they're codependent. All right, the King of Swords for the person coming towards Sagittarius for commitment. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. This is a logical thinking person here. Now, somebody may be saying, you know what? I ain't in love because you too much. You know, it could be you and this king of swords. They could be looking at you like you cold towards them. You detached and they all in their feelings over you. And you probably like, yeah, because I can't handle all of that. You know what it, You know what this about, especially with the ace of wands and the three of swords and the seven of cups and the ten of swords. Almost like, you know what, what, what's up. You want something that I don't want, but you keep on coming back. So yeah, you keep on coming back. See? King of Swords, Ace of Cups. Like you saw that, was it a new love? I saw new love. Yep, I saw new love too, see? Somebody could be watching you, hoping that you don't go offer your love nowhere else. See? Ooh. Wow. See, I feel like I feel like it's a stalker situation here. But it ain't making it no better. It's just making it worse because somebody needs to let it go and go on with their life, but they in their feelings now. King of Swords, see? <laughs> Ten of Cups, <coughs> but wait a minute, it came like this, so it was in the reverse, Ten of Cups in the reverse, I'm going to take it like it is, and they go to Page of Swords here, see somebody's not refu somebody is refusing to see what is right in front of them, they're not believing it or they're not accepting it. Somebody may have found out that somebody else got a whole relationship, but they don't care, so I was like, yeah, you heard me, yeah, you was wrong, you lied, but hey, what's up? <laughs> You want you want to come over? You coming over? You coming over? And they like, damn! You just found out that somebody had you in a third party. Yeah, it broke you down. You all out here cussing them out, going up to their job, putting sugar in their tanks, slashing their ties, going all on social media, blasting them and shit. But then behind the scenes, you still texting them, asking them what's up. <laughs> 
some shit like that, you know, codependent like that. And it could be a situation where y'all on y'all job and somebody couldn't handle that they didn't want no relationship, that it was all about the fun. But then now they on the job blasting and both of y'all could lose y'all jobs here. Three of Pentacles for the person coming towards Sagittarius for commitment towards Virgo and Capricorn. Um, collaboration, working together as a team. Y'all could work side by side together. And this person in their feelings because they rejected. See there? Somebody somebody said, somebody said, look, you knew you knew what time it was. Now you know I already told you what, what's up now. I mean, goddamn, you say you could hang. Now you all out here clowning and you got all these folks looking at us like we crazy. I need my money. <laughs> The world, see? Something came to an end here. Something, somebody could have called somebody their job, see? Because they go that nine of pentacles. Now, either this nine of pentacles or somebody broke, somebody had to leave somebody alone or see, and they go to freaking five of pentacles. So, like I say, somebody could have lost money dealing with this person here. Hangman here. Somebody needs to make some changes here. And I feel like it's this person here. So I feel like in this three of pentacles for somebody, you may have worked with somebody and they may have cost you your job or they cost you money here. Because I feel like somebody is aggressive here because they, they too obsessive here. And I don't see the devil card, but I still see the obsession here. See, they go to three of pentacles again. See, see, the three of pentacles is staying in the up right here. So obviously what somebody may be finding out is that somebody never wanted a commitment here. Whatever, whatever, whatever dynamic somebody created with this three of pentacles, that's how somebody wants it to be because the three of pentacles showed up twice in the upright. So nobody was planning on being single with one partner here. I feel like somebody wanted to do whatever they wanted to do and somebody probably, somebody probably was real and honest and told them what time it was, but they still decided to mess with a non-committal uh, community person type of energy and they end up getting hurt and they couldn't handle it and now they want to mess it up for everybody. Nine of Wands for the person coming to Sagittarius for commitment. Leo Sagittarius and Aries. Now this could be you blocking them, got a restraining order on everything. Cause you're like, no, nah, man, if you don't know this, this one crazy, man. <laughs> man, I just I kicked it with her one time, man. And god dang, man, she won't leave, man. My girl looking all man. What the what, man? What the heck is wrong with these women out here, man? How come it can't be like in the old days when your side bitch shut the fuck up? Now everybody talking. This girl all I had clowning on me like I'm her man. You don't know I got a whole wife. <laughs> Somebody say somebody telling everything. See there? Somebody's cover is being blown. Knight of Wands in the reverse. It was all right when they found out that it was just you two. But if they found out that it was somebody other than them, then they want to tell it on everybody. See? Something coming to the light. And there's a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse here. See? I feel like somebody, somebody's going to expose somebody here. So for some of y'all, either, either you got this person blocked, you might have a restraining order on them. Cause they got to run in their mouth here and somebody could have, somebody could have, um, like I said, I feel like somebody, somebody bashed your name. You got the page of swords in the reverse, a page of swords in the upright. Somebody drug your name publicly. And, and some of those things, it may have not been true. And maybe it was, but it's almost like somebody dug deep. Somebody really wanted to, uh, tarnish your, your image. Okay, and I feel like somebody just, just blasted their mouth and they put you out there here and somebody may have made things bad for you. They go to Page of Cups. And I feel like the same person, because they got a problem, going to still try to come back to you and make it right because they are emotionally un unstable. And this is the type of person you run from. See there? This, like I told you, this is somebody here who you doing wrong and they, they, they get mad at you. They retaliate, but then they come down and here they come. But they still in their feelings because just to show if you, you do something they don't like, they finna start blasting you again. So someone's trying to block this person, but this person ain't going nowhere. Now, this person could be hanging around hoping you offer them love, or they're definitely coming in to offer you love. Now, you may have somebody new coming your way. All right, the Knight of Cups for the person coming towards uh, Sagittarius for commitment. But you sure got a lot of water around here, god dang it. <laughs> you do, ooh, the Empress here. The Empress showing up in the reverse, though. Be careful with this Knight of Wands in the reverse and this Queen of Cups. She may be trying to set you up here. See, Three of Cups. See, somebody got the wrong intent. Somebody may be trying to trap you, too. Somebody may be trying to get that baby from you so that they can be your, be your person. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow. 
I feel like, see, because somebody could do whatever they can do just to make sure you're there. See there? See? Somebody ain't playing fair because they're dealing with damaged emotions here. Therefore, this person is never successful in a relationship. The spirit is saying whoever this person is coming towards you, they're emotionally damaged and they are in their feelings. And this is the type of energy that can hurt you and totally destroy everything you work for because they're in their feelings and they cannot handle rejection when they already knew what time it was. Take it how it fits. This is your reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe.